before going to the studio and showing you how to make a mixtape I just wanted to tell you my two cents to the festival yesterday. It was a great experience, although not a whole lot of people showed up to the stage where I was playing. I had a lot of fun hanging out with the other DJs. And getting back from the festival was a complete nightmare. I left around midnight and was back here at home around 2.30. Now it's 8.30, time to head to the studio and get some work done. Feels a bit weird to walk around Saturday morning with a full bottle of vodka. But I got this as a present yesterday and I want to keep it here. I'm doing all of my mixtapes with Logic, which is actually a stupid idea and really not the best program to make mixtapes. I think Ableton is way easier. So the most important part is obviously selecting the right tracks. That's the basis of your mix. If the tracks that you select are not good, you will never get a good mixtape. So I usually check Beatport for nice tracks, promos that I get sent by other DJs and of course sometimes my own tracks. I start with slower tracks and build up to around three quarters of the mix. That's the point where I like to have like the peak of it and then a quite snappy end. As soon as I've figured out the order I import all of the tracks into Logic. Now let me open one of my Logic projects. I did a mix for a one day track that's a music channel a couple of weeks ago. It will be released, I think, on Monday. I will put a link down below where you can check it out. That's the entire mix. The first step is figuring out the BPM of all of the tracks and then decide for a BPM that lies in between all of them. I went here for 122 and I just sort all of the tracks that weren't 122 with Logic's time and pitch machine. You just double click on a track go on to data and then function and time and pitch machine here you just type in the original tempo of the track let's say it was 124 and then you type in 122 just say apply as soon as all tracks have the same bpm i just zoom in quite a lot to find the starting point i align it with the grid of the project this makes it easier to move the things around, stay on the grid. If you do everything like this, it's very easy. You just um, put the outro of one track over the intro of the next track and they should fit together perfectly. They should be in sync. But what's really important to keep in mind and where I'm always really exact is every intro is usually 8 bars, 16 bars, 32 bars long to align them correctly over the same amount of bars over the next track. So when one track changes from the last part of the track into the outro, that exactly at that point the intro starts and both go then for 16 or 32 bars. And when the outro stops, the intro of the next track stops at the same time and it sounds very smooth and makes your mix a lot better. To make the mix even smoother you just volume fade out one track and volume fade in the next one. I also use low and high cut automations as well as sometimes reverb. Everything that's just necessary to make a smooth transition. But the technical stuff is not really so important for me. It's more about the track selection. The transitions just need to be so that the listener doesn't get carried away from listening to the mix. The last step for me is making sure that every track has the same loudness. I'm using a Voxengo Span Analyzer and here this RMS value tells me how loud the track is and I make sure that all of them have the same loudness, usually around minus 9 or minus 10 dB and at the end comes the limiter just to make sure that nothing um, clips. That's pretty much already it. If you have any questions left just let me know but making a mix is very straightforward. As I already mentioned, track selection is key. And by the way, that's the cover of the mixtape. The mix is called Deep Summer. Thanks a lot to the guys from One Day Track for the support. And I hope you all enjoy it. So have fun listening to it. I now have to get back to work. There's still a lot of things I have to take care of before heading back home. It's now six. I'm having my breakfast and lunch. 
I usually only need 10 minutes back home, but with Pokemon Go it just takes twice as long. I didn't see Vanessa a whole lot this entire week, so I think I'm going to spend some quality time tonight with her. On, ready? Yeah. Looks nice. Dankeschön. Vanessa redid the entire terrace, and if you're wondering why I'm on a Saturday in my studio, that might be also a reason. I just said I want to spend some quality time with you because we didn't have a whole lot of time this week together. Yeah. How many hours did you see me this week? Almost four. Spending quality time with Vanessa means hunting for snails. Mission accomplished. For now.